Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're coming across an issue on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer with the Windows could not start the WLAN autoconfig service on local computer, followed by error message 193-0xc1. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys, on how to resolve it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I recommend doing would be to open up the search menu and type in CMD. Best result, check them back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, you wanna go ahead and select yes. And now into this command line window, you wanna go ahead and type in IP config, followed by a space forward slash flush DNS. Flush DNS should all be one word, attach the forward slash out front. Hit enter on the keyboard, should come back with Windows IP configuration successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. Now you want to type in NETSH space WinSock, W I N S O C K space reset. Once again, exactly how you see it on my screen. And then once you have that in there, you want to go ahead and hit enter. Sure, come back of Windows successfully reset the WinSock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. At this point, you want to go ahead and close out of here and then restart your computer. And once you're back in the Windows, open up the search menu, type in Device Manager, best match, or come back with Device Manager. Go ahead and open that up. And now that we're in Device Manager here, you want to go ahead and double click on the Network Adapter section, and then right click on the Network Connection that's listed under here, and select Update Driver. Select Browse My Computer for Drivers, and then select Let me Pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. If you have a manufacturer-specific one, I recommend selecting that. Otherwise, you can select a generic one if that's the only option available to you. And then once you've made that selection, go ahead and select Next and give that a moment. And then once that's done, you should be able to just go ahead and close out of here. And then one final thing we take a look into here as well would be to check and see if airplane mode is turned on. So if you open up the search menu and type in airplane, Best match, we'll come back with airplane mode. Go ahead and open that up. So if an airplane mode is currently turned or toggled to the on position, you want to toggle it off by just clicking inside the oval one time. And then that should hopefully be about it at this point. So like I said, pretty straightforward process here, guys. I do apologize to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.